I have created a personal calendar that syncs with your Google Calendar, lets you add from natural language, chat with it, and you get direct messages every day of what you have going on that day. And this is super easy to run on your computer. Once you have it set up running locally, you have your Google credentials, you sign in, and then when you come to this screen, it'll automatically import all of everything in your Google Calendar from the start of this year to the future. And there are a few things you can do here, right? So the first off is we have the settings. Here in the settings is where you'll give all your Telegram information, you will give your open AI key, and you can also enable daily calendar reminders for a specific time of the day. We'll, we'll come back to this. One of the things that I really wanted and liked is many times people just give you uh, times, they don't like actually send you dates. So with this quick ad here, what you can do is you can just paste in text here and if the text is similar or it gives you enough information, it will add that to your calendar just with natural language. So let's look at an example. So I'm gonna go to ChatGPT and say, I need to, need to be super productive this week with working out, YouTube recordings and reading. Can you give me time to do this while I work a nine to five from August 8th to August 15th? So uh, I'm just running this now and whenever this gives me all of the dates and times and everything that it's doing, it's gonna go ahead and create all of those calendar events for me. And here we go, we did a breakdown by day. So I'm just gonna copy this. I'm gonna come back here and just paste this here where it says paste your text. Then it's going to create the events. So now in the background, I have an AI agent that's taking all this, analyzing it, and then it's going to add these to your calendar events. And once it's done, it says I've successfully created 19 events just from text. So I'm gonna go and close this. Now, again, I'm gonna to go to August here. And so I started on the 8th, oops. Yeah, actually, well, that's fine. I started on the 8th and then came all the way down to the 15th. And so the workout, reading, and uh, YouTube recording. So this is kind of everything that I had going out for these days. And then if you click on each of them, it just opens up on the side and gives you the actual times for those events. And the next thing that I can do is I can actually chat with everything. So whenever I open up the chat menu, this is going to just allow me to ask anything related to calendar and it will give me back information. So let's, how about I just say summarize my week. So this will go and have an AI agent knowing the intent now is that I want to retrieve everything from my calendar for this week and then summarize that for me. So here are your scheduled events for the week. I had a coaching call, project review meeting, uh, workout, reading session, and so forth, right? We can, we can prompt this to make that look better, but this is everything that I have going on this week. And we can also add events from here. So I want to, I want to have it schedule a reading session for 30 minutes starting uh, tonight at 8 p.m. So now the intent is to add an event. It's going to retrieve all the, uh, take all the information and then go ahead and do that on my calendar. So now if I refresh here and I now have a reading session tonight from 8 to 8.30 p.m. And when you open up the settings, you can also, like I mentioned, enable daily reminders by giving your Telegram information. And then once you do that, I can go ahead and, and it's already passed this morning, but I can go ahead and sample and send today's schedule as well. So here in my notifications, and then if I look here, I have my reading session that I had scheduled earlier. And of course, if you want to verify everything, here is my Google Calendar. Here's everything that I've added through natural language or with chat. And by the way, in my school community, I will have this as the exact steps that you will need to install this and get it running locally. Okay, so what is this doing to help you? Well, for me, I have a problem with tracking everything I'm doing for that day. So in the morning, be able, to be able to get a reminder about everything that I have that day, then that is absolutely amazing because generally things for like Calendly, if you use cal.com or anything else that integrates with your Google Calendar, whenever you refresh this calendar, plus adding anything you want to using a and chatting with it, it makes it easier having those reminders every day of what I need to do for that day. And I can easily just spin this up and then look at it and then delete, update, or whatever I need to do. Now, let's just get on with what you need to make this work. Well, the first thing you need is Docker. So, because this is very easy to spin up, I made it very easy to spin up with just one command. You just need to copy one command um, once you get this project. And that is, uh, you first need to use Docker to make this happen, and you can even install with Mac, Windows, or Linux, whatever machine you have. But this is a simple, simple, simple setup. You just click on uh, the Docker desktop for Mac with Apple Silicon or with Intel chip or your Windows. Just go and do that. This takes a minute, and then you'll know when it's running. For instance, at the top right here, I have this little, well, I actually have an update for it, but it's just, it'll be like a whale with some mini small boxes. 
that those are containers and that is how you know that it's running on your machine. And then the next thing is you need to have Google credentials so that you can uh, sign in with your Google account. So in order to do that, I want to refer to the NA10 documentation because I'll also use that for Telegram. They make it very simple. They, I mean, they already have kind of fleshed out instructions on how to do all of this. So if you come in here, I have a link for this as well. I'm actually going to modify it slightly for, for us, but for this Google Cloud project, or what you need to do is build, create a Google Cloud Console project, enable the API for, you know, to have access for your Google Calendar so you can read, write, and all those things with it. And then you have to, you know, follow these next couple steps, but I'll have this for you so you don't have to worry. I have all these steps. And then for Telegram to work, I'm gonna also refer to their documentation because this is exactly what I used, followed step-by-step, step, and this is exactly how I got what I needed. Now, for this to work, once you follow all of this information, it's not even that much. I don't even know why I said it like that. It's not that much. You also need to get a chat ID. And this is a link. This is actually a link on how to get um, like everything you need for your Telegram bot. But to get your chat ID right here, you just follow these steps. You're going to basically send a message to your Telegram bot and open up this link in the browser, but also the token that you got from, that you will have had now from the previous step, put that in there. You'll see something like this and you will just copy this chat ID. Then once you have the project, you will, there will be quite a few things here, but you'll, you'll end up putting your uh, client secret JSON, which is your Google credentials. You'll put that here. But once that is done, you don't have to worry about any of this, right? You don't have to modify anything here except for the JSON file that I just told you about. And then all I do is just type Docker Compose Upbuild and here it's working. It's very simple to run this. So I also did a quick poll on my YouTube channel in a post about uh, what you would like to, if you could automate one thing in your life, what would that be? The majority had to deal with data entry and spreadsheet automation. Now this is a common thing, especially whenever you're creating automations that use something like Google Sheets because it's, just, it's free and it's easy to store everything. It may not be the most secure thing or might not be the nicest to look at, but that is simple. So I will be making a video on data entry on this as well. And in my school community, I made a vote and lead automation management was an automation that I will also be working on. So these will be coming up soon. Now what I wanna do is I wanna hear from you what you would like to see. I'm going to start creating these more engaging automations and with these AI agents. So for instance, with this calendar, be able to use natural language to be able to put your settings in through the UI, be able to chat with everything. And then in the background, you know, have the, to have the specific automation to make this work. This was really fun to make and I wanna make more engaging agents like this. So I'd love to hear your, love to hear what you have to say about that. You know, please leave any comments you have down in the comment section below. And if you, when you join my school community, you'll have access to all the classrooms and you'll have access to everything that we are doing and that I am going to be creating in the future. And I want you to help me drive what I'm going to be building so I can actually build things that help you. Which leads me to the last thing I was just want to talk about when we're dealing with AI automations, AI agents. I want to help you build things that are actually going to be solutions for problems. Problems. Yes, it's, we need to learn, and whenever you're learning, you may just may build mundane things or some things that are simple, but just to take that step back here, if you build something and it seems simple, but it solves a problem, then great, you're solving a problem. That's what we worry about, right? It doesn't matter what tool you're using, it just matters that we just care that there's a problem and that we wanna solve that. Now, I mean, there's more to that, but if you just generally speak, the tool that you're using to do that doesn't matter at all, right? There are so many different CRMs out there, some of them do different things, but some of them also just solve specific problems and that's great. That's what I want to help you do. So if you are a small business or you have a huge school community or on other some other form of community, but you need to save on costs so you can make more money and then also give yourself back some time let me know. I am here to build custom AI animations just for you. Thanks for watching. Here's more videos and I will see you next one.